I'm Emmanuel, and I'm also known as Mike Emmanuel, and I'm 14 years old. Okay. I'm, I'm Shiloh, aka Lion Shiloh, and I'm 11 going 12. All right, yeah, my big respect. So how did you guys get into music? Tell us. So as we said in our song, from your baby in a belly, music has always been around us. And when we were little, our dad used to write songs for a reggae band in Italy. Okay. And our mom was also a reggae uh, photographer. Wow. Okay, so you're very diverse then. Yes. Okay, okay. So, why reggae music for you guys? Why have you chose that particular genre? Living in a home, you know, where my dad and mum are both blaster. Yeah. Them playing reggae all day, it, ca it just came natural. Yeah, man, I like that. <laughs> for real. So, who inspires you both? Are you looking up to anybody? Except for my mum and our dad. Yeah. When we were younger, we listened to artists like Young JR. Okay. And to no surprise, yeah. uh, Tommy Lee, he, oh. he had a song that we really liked called Captain Sparta, which was like mainly for children. Okay, wow. Wow, wow. And what was it about this particular song that you guys liked? What was it about it? Um, we mainly liked the music video because it contained lots of um, video game and cartoon characters. Okay. So we would like to re-watch the video multiple times to then um, see all the characters. Yeah. And also sing along with the chorus as oh. well. All right, all right. Do you want to sing any now? <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember it? Uh, we don't really remember the song. Okay, okay, no worries, no worries. So, you know what, we're going through some really testing times, and I know you guys are young people. What are your thoughts on, you know, COVID, Black Lives Matter, and these particular topics? How are you feeling about them? Um, so, the COVID has been very difficult for everyone. Yeah. But for ourselves, um, we also have to get used to um, the new way of school. Okay. Because now we can't really hang around with our friends as much. Yeah. And yeah, so they put us in separate groups as well. All right. And uh, for the Black Lives Matter, we also give all strength to the Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Bobo Shanti order. But as Rasta, we would just say one love to the world. Definitely. Respect for that. So, you know what? What brought me to you guys at the very start was the music, but also you guys talk about difficult topics um, that encourage a lot of people not just young people but a lot of people and one of the videos that really was encouraging was the fact of he spoke on the topic of the young jamaican girl with dreadlocks who wasn't allowed in school and i just wondered what was your motivation for that and why did you guys feel so strongly about that particular piece and the other pieces that you've done um yes we just felt talking about it because um, we didn't really understand yeah. the, the problem with the hair because it's just natural hair and just like someone having an afro yeah. or any other hair, it doesn't really distract any other people from um, getting their education. Definitely. And so, yeah. and so, how did you guys feel about it? Because obviously you guys have got dreadlocks. How did you guys feel? Yes, um, we feel that it was not right. Yeah. Because a any, everyone could um, have their own opinion to um, and what their own style and fashion should yeah. be. For real. For yeah. Me. So, you know what? You spoke about Rasta a lot, which is definitely helpful. And, you know, people out there that are listening might not know what Rasta is. And you guys being in a Rasta family, do you think you could let them know in a little sentence what it is and what, what it involves? Um, so Rasta is love. Yeah. Simple as that. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so. Yeah. I, I like natural living. Okay. Okay. I like that as well. Definitely. Respect for that. So you guys have got this album and I have to say, I really do like your album. It's, it's pure love for real. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, man. For real. So this album is called Disa Reggae Music. Tell us, how did you guys come up with it? Why, the how, and a little bit about it? Well, 
a lot of our songs are made like just in the moment when you just sit down and feel the vibe and the topic. Okay. I I would write a piece and Emmanuel would write a piece and our dad will help. Okay. After like putting together. Okay. Okay. So daddy, daddy is a big help then for you guys. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, man. Big up dad. Big up mom as well. Have to big them up. <laughs> so. You know what? One of the pieces as well that you guys did was a video, and I've seen so many different artists in that video, reaching from Sizzla, Bojo Banton. There was just so many. How did you guys put that together and come up with that idea for this reggae music? Um, so we just felt that since we were talking about a song that's yeah. involved with reggae, okay. we felt like we could um, give, give um, um, like, give, um, the, what's it called? Authenticity. We, we should give reggae artists yeah. um, like uh, ex more exposure. Okay. And also thank them for what they have done. Yeah, the well. For real, for real. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm guessing you guys have heard about Toot sadly passing yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So how you guys... Definitely. Respect, respect. So when it comes to... You said that you just do it in the moment. Um, what kind of... How does that happen, though? Because the people out there are probably thinking that you sit down and then you just come up with an idea. Is it like that, or do you actually structure and have an idea roughly? Like, um, songs, a uh, song like Margarita yeah. was uh, Emmanuel's girlfriend. <laughs> okay, okay. That's all good. So, and he was talking about her. And we, and we just want to make a song about it. Okay, yeah, I like that tune as well. You know what, to be honest with you, all the tunes I can't say are bad. I think they're all good. Thank, Thank you. you. For real, for real. So, you know, I've seen that you guys were supposed to be performing at the One Love Festival this year. Um, actually, we, we already did perform at the One Love Festival. Okay. But that was um, back in 2019. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it was the Stephanie Eye Festival that we were unable to um, attend to because oh, of COVID. Yeah. So when you guys are going on stage, do you ever get nervous? Because there's so many people out there looking at you. Um, yes, I do. and still get nervous. Yeah. But um, sometimes I, do, I just try to forget about the people okay. and just um, be like myself. Okay, okay. And what about your brother? Does he get nervous? I get very nervous, but I have to hold it in yeah. and perform my, to my best. Yeah, for real. I like that. Just keep going at it because you're doing really well. Thank you. Thank you. So, what's your next steps? What have you got in mind or what would you like to be doing, just say, in five years' time? What would you like to be doing? Uh, in five years? Yeah. We're still in the studio and we're writing and promoting albums. Okay. And... We want to be performing. Yeah. Main stages around the world. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Is there any artist in particular that you would love to perform with at this current time? Um, yes. Okay, who's we that? We'd love to perform with um, artists like Sizzla Kalanji Ooh. and uh, Samari Ai. Yeah, man, Samari Ai is a legend, trust me. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, for real. So, how about Chronics? Would you go with Chronics? Yes, of course. <laughs> of course, of course. So, you know what? There's lots of young people listening to the show. What advice would you, as young people, give to other young people, whether it be in life or in music? What are you guys saying? So, just like usual, I would say stay in school, yeah. stay focused, and listen to your mummy and your daddy. And to remember the sky's the limit. And if you put your mind to something, yeah, they should know that they will achieve it. Definitely. You know what? You two are very positive, And I have to big up your mom and dad as well for bringing that energy to you guys. So how can people connect with you? Say if they wanted to book you or link up with you, how can they do that? We, um, we have Instagram. Okay. My team and Lion Shiloh on Facebook as well. Okay, okay. And YouTube, of course. Yes. Remember, tell them to subscribe and share to all their friends. 
definitely i'll be, i'll be posting it on my facebook anyway your youtube channel because it's a nice channel too so oh, thank you so you know what would you guys be up for singing a little something for the listeners out there yes okay so we're when gonna it, give whenever you're ready we're gonna give a little taste of this reggae music okay. with Emmanuel playing uh, the guitar yeah man i like that definitely yeah. so when you guys are ready This a reggae, 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 we love the reggae music, send me not no life from my na baby in na belly. Before me open me eyes, and when me was a child, me mother used to play as me nightly nursery rhyme. So don't be surprised, now I'm standing on the stage, microphone in me hand, with me reggae band. <laughs> Listen to the drum and bass, tell me it no sweet. Sexy girls in at the front, just a jump and a scream. So I cannot deny, or even compromise. Me last girl say she no love me, so me tell her bye bye. Reggae, this a reggae, this a reggae. This a reggae music. Reggae, this a reggae, this a reggae. Reggae. This a reggae, this a reggae, this a reggae, this a reggae. We have to give thanks to all the icons who came before singers and players then we all adore hand in hand they took the music far away from the jamaican show now we're touring in places that i never knew before reggae is the symbol for love and unity right round the globe in a zimbabwe Reggae will stick your feet, man, then I get free, I reggae kick down the door. So how come some misses still I ignore? Cha! Reggae, this a reggae, this a reggae. This a reggae music. Reggae, this a reggae, this a reggae. Reggae, this a reggae. This a reggae. This a reggae music. Reggae. This a reggae. This a reggae. Yeah. Yeah. Fire, fire, fire. You know what? I just love the vibes that you're bringing. I love the energy that you've got. Just keep at it and keep going, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And you know what, when COVID-19 hopefully subsides and it goes and everything like that, we can link up for sure. What are you saying? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Thanks up to the whole Our Radio. Give thanks every time. You know what, I really appreciate it. And I hope that you guys have um, a good time at school and you just keep going forward, yeah? Yes, yeah, thank, thank you. It's been a pleasure. You know what, we'll speak again soon. Have a good day. Definitely, thank you, yes. even to you. Anytime, anytime. And of course, big up your mom, big up your dad as well. Yes. yes. Uh, bless up. We'll speak again soon. One love. One, One love. love. Bless up. Yes, people, you know what? All you can do at that is just give thanks because 
what a pleasure to have two young artists okay just expressing the love of their reggae vibes the reggae music out there and of course please do go and support them go and show them some love some energy and check out their youtube channel their instagram their facebook just remember they're only 14 and 11 and already making some great tunes some great vibes and of course check out their album we're kicking it off again with this a reggae check it out yeah. 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 